Today our topic of discussion is nutrition in animals. Now what does this term mean? Nutrition is how the animals are consuming their food and utilizing it in their body. Now the question arises why do organisms need food? Organisms they need food for energy, for growth and repair, maintenance of the body and to carry out the basic life processes. Now once an organism has consumed the food, what, what does the next happens to the food? The food is digested. Now why the food needs to be digested? Because the food that we are consuming, it exists in complex forms. So this complex form needs to be reduced to simpler forms so that our body is able to absorb the nutrition. Our nutrients are absorbed when the food is converted to simpler forms. That is why the food needs to be digested. Now here are some steps of digestion of food. First is ingestion that is when we take in the food, consuming the food. Then digestion as I told you absorption is when it is absorbed by the body of the organism and passed on to the bloodstream. Assimilation is when it is transported and to be used by the body cells. Ejection is when the waste products they are eliminated out of the organism's body. In every organism they need to follow these steps of digestion. Now we will be learning about the mode of feeding and digestion in amoeba. Now what is amoeba? Amoeba is a unicellular microscopic organism which is single celled. Unicellular means single celled. It consists of only one cell. Now you can see in the picture there are tiny finger like projections coming out randomly on the surface of the amoeba. These finger like projections they are called as pseudopodia. The word pseudopodia means pseudo means false, podia refers to feet. So these are called as false feet as they help the animal to walk also that is to move from one place to another and also in trapping the food particles. Now how does the pseudopodia traps the food particles? Look in the picture here. The food particle is surrounded by the pseudopodia and pseudopodia it joins itself to form a food vacuole. So ingestion is occurring through pseudopodia. Digestion will occur in food vacuole where digestive juices will be secreted by the animal. And then absorption and assimilation of nutrients will occur and ingested food will, that is waste material will be ingested through the body surface of amoeba. Next is paramecium. Paramecium is a unicellular slipper shaped organism. As you can see here in the picture, the outside surface of paramecium is lined with tiny hairs which are called as cilia. These cilia, they have a function of movement also. And they also aid the organism in trapping the food particles and they drive the food particle to the mouth area of the organism. Now mode of feeding in Hydra. Hydra is a water animal. It is not unicellular. It is multicellular organism. It has a hollow body cavity at the mouth of Hydra. It is having lots of tentacles. These tentacles they have special stinging cells. These stinging cells, they have the capability to paralyze or kill the prey. Prey means which the hydra is going to feed upon. Now hollow body cavity means like the same way. The pen has a hollow from in cavity from inside. Similarly, in case of hydra, when the food is trapped by the tentacles of hydra, it is pushed with the flow of water inside the body cavity where the digestive juices are secreted. The food is digested and absorbed by the body cells and the waste product is thrown out with again with the help of flowing water. In case of frog, the frog feeds on with the use of sticky tongue. It has a long tongue which is kept rolled inside his mouth. The saliva of the frog is very sticky. So whenever he see a flying insect or a prey, he just take out the rolled out tongue it, it takes it out and the prey gets sticked and trapped in the tongue of the frog. Next is mode of feeding in mosquito and butterfly. In mosquito and butterfly, they have a sharp feeding tube. This feeding tube could be related with a straw which we use for sucking the 
juice similarly a mosquito or a butterfly is able to suck the nectar from the flower with the use of this feeding tube this feeding tube is also called as proboscis now next how does spider feeds spider in case of spider the digestion is called to be external external mean outside the body of the spider what happens spider spins a web the web in the web a prey or a small insect gets trapped there the spider reaches till the prey releases the digestive juices where the food is digested outside the body now he is only taking the nutrition this way the spider digest its food outside its body so today we have discussed why do organisms need food what is the need of digestion of food then we discussed about the different modes of feeding in mosquito butterfly spider hydra frog amoeba and paramecium